Hello viewers, thank you for tuning in to ACN African Christian Network. My name is Kizia Tutu. We're here at First Ghana SDA Church for their Ghana Republic Day celebration. They're a host of people who are being recognized for their contributions in the Ghanaian community, and we're gonna have a chance to talk to them, so stay tuned. Okay. I'm standing here with Okoba Jesse. And today you were recognized for your achievements in the Ghanaian community. Could you give the audience a brief introduction of who you are and exactly what you do? Good. I'm one of the elders of the church, and we have helped to organize the Ghanaian community to come together to help ourselves and to grow spiritually. And what are some differences in celebrating Ghanaian Republic Day here in the United States and in Ghana? What are some differences? Yeah, the difference is quite obvious. We collect people from the diaspora together in terms of the United States. But in Ghana, we move to our individual places to celebrate. Whether you are from Kumasi, Accra, or Tamale, you celebrate it at your individual places. But here, we came from far and near in our church to celebrate the issues of the Republic and to help each other and to recognize what our leaders here have done for us. Next to me here is Dr. Asiedu, who is also recognized for his achievements in the Ghanaian community. Doctor, how does it feel to be recognized in this way? Well, uh, first of all, I feel very humbled uh, to be recognized this way. Um, it also makes me uh, aware of what I'm doing for the community. And uh, it, uh, when you do something for the community and you've been realized, it gives you the um, push or the urge to continue to do what you're doing. Thank you very much, Doctor. I'm here with these beautiful young ladies and their lovely outfits. Ladies, what, what are your names? Jacqueline. Linda. Michelle. And how does, it, how does it feel to celebrate Ghana Republic Day here in the United States? Um, I think that it's amazing how they could bring the culture to um, New York, like here in America, and they could like, um, how do I say this? Like they could bring all the, um, the traditions and everything and it's all authentic and rich and like it's like having Ghana but it's just here. I like how the culture is basically mixed so we have pride in our country so we get to celebrate it anytime. Um, it makes me feel proud to be a Ghanaian knowing that when I come here I like the different outfits and the different food and how the culture is mixed in with American culture. And what are your favorite parts of the Ghanaian culture? The food, like the jollof, <laughs> amazing. The clothes, different colors and varieties. And the different dances. Thank you, ladies. I'm here with Dr. Alex Boafo, who is recognized for his achievements in the Ghanaian community. Doctor, for those of us who don't know you well, could you give us a brief introduction of who you are and what you do? Um, as you said, my name is Alex Boafo. I work with Abed Einstein Medical School and work with Montefiore Hospital uh, as a gynecologist. I've been in the system for a while and has been very closely linked with the Ghanaian community. Um, I'm, a, I'm a consultant. I used to be a president and a consultant of a nonprofit organization called Kwakwadwiam Association, Inc. And the mission of that organization was to organize activities to enhance the quality of lives of, the, of its members and to organize activities that would enhance the quality of lives of those that we left at home as well. And probably it is in this regard of the things that we've been able to do um, for our colleagues as well as um, for the Ghanaians in the areas that we left. And I'm sure probably that is why the idea of honoring me. And today you received a plaque, which was a part of the recognition. How does it feel to be recognized for your contributions? I w our mission in our organization and our values are that the best part of every person's life is what he gives back to community. And we believe that even as the Bible says, because you've done it for my brethren, you've done it for me. So we believe that um, we should be able to organize things that help those that um, we've left at home. And I can give you a litany of things that we've been able to achieve. Um, if you will, for instance, the School for the Blind in Ekropong, 
uh, we organized and um, raised funds to create um, boreholes to provide water for the blind uh, challenge children. We've helped the university in a village, giving them about 10 brand new laptops. We've helped with the villages um, in the Kwapim area with the midwifery services, uh, providing them with um, logistics that they can use to improve the quality of care they give to women and children in the area. So uh, well, I believe, um, and we also help the vision, the idea that the country can be won a block at a time, that government has its role to play, but we as citizens also have roles, individual roles to play that can enhance the quality of lives of um, you know, the misplaced, and this is where we come in. I'm here with the resident pastor, Emmanuel Osei, who is the resident pastor of First Ghana SDA. Pastor, what does it mean to celebrate um, Ghana's Republic Day on the church's Sabbath day? Well, thank you uh, for this interview. We are all Ghanaians, and um, we are part of the celebration. We recognize the fact that our forefathers played a very important and major role for Ghana to redeem Ghana from uh, uh, oppression, to redeem Ghana, to give us the independence that we need. And on the 1st of July, that's when we got our native people to lead or to govern the country. And on the 1st of July, we celebrate with our, our leaders this great occasion. And that was 1st July, it was Wednesday. Uh, and um, we thought it wise to have it this weekend to coincide with American Independence Day, which is today, 4th of July, to celebrate together with other Ghanaians and friends of Ghana to, to recognize also some of our leaders who are here helping Ghanaians in a very uh, unique way. So this is what we want to do, to recognize people, to bring that spirit of Ghanaianness within us and to lead a, a life that counts to go back to help our dear country, Ghana. Thank you. Standing next to me is? Obrimpon Owusuchum Berima Tiabofre the first, also known as Nana Dr. Rokoto. Doctor, you received a recognition plaque today for your achievements in the Ghanaian community. How does that feel? It feels very great and it's like when you are doing something, it has to boost your morale because today's achievement is like right in the corner where you are. And what would you tell those in Ghana who, who might be seeing this, what would you tell them, what would you say to encourage them to help the community, ways to help the community, how would you encourage them? Being a traditional ruler, first I would say this plot comes from God because whatever you're doing, God blesses you and you do it and you do it and get blessing. Two, it's also for the community and the place where I'm from and where I'm a leader. That's Akim Aparadi. I'm telling people listening to me, whatever they may be, that whatever you're doing in this world, do it well because it takes one step to make a hundred miles journey because if you don't do anything right you will never be known but if you do it right you will go to places in which everybody will see you so i'm saying this to everybody who is doing something regardless any inconveniences that you face do not worry because when you do and you do it well it will come to light because light always shine when dark want to oppose Thank you very much, Doctor. You're welcome.